Hey folks, this is Vint with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Flashpoint Fire Rescue. So this is the digital adaptation of the popular board game, and in this game you take on the role of firefighters trying to rescue people from a burning house. Um, there is a family mode and an experienced mode. The family mode takes out a lot of the rules and makes things a bit more streamlined, whereas the experienced makes it a, a bit more strategic but also a lot more challenging because it introduces things like uh, hot spots and uh, there's hazmat areas where, you know, fire can really cause some nasty explosions. Um, this game is similar to that of Pandemic in the sense that players are working together. But Pandemic is a bit more structured, I think. Uh, Pandemic you know what cards have been played already and where the diseases will spread again in the future um, via, you know, the shuffling of the discard pile or actually just placing the discard pile back on top of the deck um, after certain epidemic cards are drawn. In this game, you're at the mercy of dice. So it's possible that you could play a challenging game and you're good. Uh, you can get right through it, bam, bam, bam. And other times... If dice are rolled and uh, the fire spawner lands on either smoke or fire, then bad things can happen. So uh, it, you're at the mercy of dice with this game. So it's a bit RNG more so than, say, Pandemic, but it's still quite fun to play. So uh, with that being said, <clears throat> let's go ahead and just... I, I think because of time constraints, we'll do a smaller map. It's already 9 p.m. where I'm at, so um, we'll just play this. Now, I am playing on experience. That way, it introduces all of the extra stuff. Um, so what's cool about this is that even though it's just one player, me playing, um, I can actually spawn multiple people and control them individually, but I have to take turns doing it. So if I introduce too many firefighters with all these cool abilities, I have to wait like four or five full turns before I see that firefighter again before I can make them act. Whereas if you keep your team small, there's a better chance of you getting back to your firefighters, uh, you know, in their abilities. So, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, Jesus. Well then, this is great. We need to get in there and do some serious control. Um, okay. <laughs> so our goal is to go to the question marks and see if they're humans or not. Sometimes it's a animal, sometimes it's an alarm clock. They're called points of interest, and sometimes they're humans, sometimes they're not. Our goal is to rescue so many people before the time expires. So I'm going to go ahead and put my first one here. And in the experienced game, you can actually pick roles. So there's the generalist, for example. He has no special ability whatsoever, but he gets five action points on his turn instead of just four, which I like. Um, just the extra action economy. You can actually see in the middle of the screen there all the different actions and how many action points they cost. Each, each dot represents an action point. So to move, it's one action. To move through fire, it's two. Um, to move with survivor or hazmat, yes, you can carry survivors and that out, but it's they're heavy, so it takes more movement points. So uh, my favorite is this CAFS firefighter. Um, he gets three actions to move around. Like, that's it, just three actions. But he gets three free extinguish actions. So if you just keep him near fire, he'll get a bunch of free extinguish actions. And as long as you don't move him around too much, he'll, he'll, he'll do some work for you. So I'm going to place him first near all of this fire. And I think... I kind of want to contain this fire, to be honest with you. Maybe I'll put my other one over here. Um, I could create a hazmat character and just take out these little... Cir these red circles with the yellow triangle. Those are hazmat spots. Uh, when fire reaches those spots, bad things happen. Uh, and if the house takes too much damage, then game over. So I may want to spawn a hazmatter to take care of these immediately. Um, so maybe I'll do that. And the hazmat one is this one here. He has four actions, and uh, for two action points, he can remove a hazmat in the current cell. That way I don't have to drag the hazmat out of there 
into a spot that's less hectic or out of the house, that kind of thing. So I think I'll place my hazmat technician here. And do I want a third one? I'm tempted, but at the same time, maybe I might want to show off the deck gun. Considering all of these fires, um, I like the deck gun. Um, let's put... Uh, where am I going to spawn this guy? Where's my... Do I have a fire truck in this? I think... I thought I did. Um... I would... I think it's this one. Possibly. If it's not, then I'll have to change it. The driver operator. There's, a There's a... An ambulance, or a fire truck, rather, that you can swing around the outside of the board, and then you can target cells and fire a deck gun. It Again, it's dice rolling... You never know what area you're going to hit, but the splash damage is amazing and can take out huge fires. Um, I think I'll place him there, assuming that that is what that is. If not, I'll restart and do something else. Okay, so that's good. So now we're going to start the game, and the way it works is firefighter goes, then uh, a dice is rolled to see where new fire spawns. If fire spawns on an empty spot, it just starts as smoke. If the fire lands on a smoke spot, it turns into fire. And if a f new fire thing lands on a fire tile, a, a tile that already has fire on it, an explosion occurs. Hazmats uh, immediately cause an explosion. Um, I want to get in there and start doing some work. So I'm going to move two spaces. That's two action points. I'm going to open this door for one action point. And remember, I got two free extinguish or three free extinguish actions. It costs two to take out a fire and one for smoke. So that one is done. Now I can't move, so my last free uh, extinguish has gone to waste. But I've sort of cleared out this hallway a bit. I am concerned about all this other fire. Again, this is RNG. Sometimes you just get really unlucky. Okay. Wow. Okay. So in this case. One of the extra rules that I forgot to mention, because that was an empty spot, but because it's next to an existing fire, it just the smoke automatically turns into fire, which is nasty. So now we're on to the hazmat. Uh, I'm going to go right here with the hazmat guy, and I'm going to spend two action points to clear it. Gone. So now I don't have to worry about hazmat exploding there anymore. Uh, and now it just end turn. That's it. Moving on. Alright, I'm not worried about that section of the board. Okay, so from here, change crew, where is the deck gun at? Is the deck gun even in this one? That's what I was saying. I was worried that it wouldn't be in this particular mode. Let me look around the board and see if the it's somewhere else. No, that's the gurney there. The gurney is uh, something that you have to move to the outside of the board in order to uh, pick up survivors that are fleeing the area. I'm not seeing the fire truck. Maybe I'm, I, I thought it was this here, to be honest with you, but maybe I misunderstood that. Um, I don't want to switch. Um, fire deck gun. No. I, I need to get, yeah, I need to find, huh, how do I get on this thing? And where is it? Maybe I started in the wrong spot, to be honest with you. What I could do is, uh, I see, I thought that ladder here was the fire gun, but maybe it's not. I wonder if it's this thing here. Let's move here real quick, just to see if we can, I don't think we can. Call out. Yeah, you know what, I might actually restart this, because I don't, I, I, I wonder if you don't have access to the deck gun on this training level, which is kind of a shame, really. There's, there's spots for it. I just can't identify where it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's weird. There should be... Yeah, this driver operator should be able to get into a vehicle. There's no undo button either, which kind of sucks. So, you know what? I'll just... I'll, I'll treat him like a regular person for right now and just have him walk around. If I figure it out later, great. Okay, so now my CAFS firefighter is going to do some work. Um, he's going to move one spot there and use two of my free extinguish to take that out. And then he's going to move one spot here 
we've now revealed a person. So rather than drag him out, it's not very good for my CAFS firefighter. He's great at extinguishing things. I have one free extinguish left, and I have still one action point left. So I'll just spend both and extinguish that completely. I can turn it into smoke if I want, but I'd rather just get rid of it. So um, this swirling fire there, that is a hot spot. Uh, anything that the, the, when the fire spawns and it lands there, it automatically turns into fire. It's a hot spot. Again, these are things found in the experienced version of the game. Oh, this is bad. All right, Hazmat, uh, get down there, and we will just clear that. And that ends my turn. So I got rid of another Hazmat spot. More smoke. The driver operator. So he's kind of useless right now. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to get him into the truck uh, from here. I, I don't know where that spot is. Um, it would have been nice to have, because it's a very powerful thing. You'd think this would be it here, but again, maybe I just don't have access to it. I thought it would be this here, to be honest with you. Alright, well, let's get in there. I've got some fire to contain. We'll spend two action points. We'll open this door. Now, it's a bad idea to end your turn next to fire. I'm just saying, it can explode and, and your guy can get stunned. I typically like to end my turn away from fire. So, uh, but luckily, your action points do carry over from turn to turn, so... Oh, that's, that's a fire right there, okay. Um, let's get this guy... See, this guy's useless. He's, he's got to move here and that's it. I could pick him up and carry him. But with this guy, he's he's better at putting out fires. I'm just going to move him here, and that has to end my turn, unfortunately. Oh, this is so bad. Oof. All right, hazmat. It's a bad idea also to be all in the same tile, but I need to get rid of this hazmat thing immediately. All right, so that's gone. So I've gotten rid of all of the hazmats on the, on the table, which is really good. All right, fire advancing. Don't land on... Oh, hot spot. Oh, I'm sorry. Hot spot creates another roll of the die. It doesn't turn it into fire. My bad. Okay, so the driver operator. Let's just get in there and just start clearing out all of this madness. We'll just spend our action points and just try and clear the way. And that ends my turn. I'm trying to contain it, but look at all of this fire. Yeah. It's, this is getting nasty. I haven't even rescued a single person yet. Let's get this CAFS firefighter over here to control this. One. Two. Okay. Uh, and that ends my turn. See how easy this, I mean, see how easy it's, it just gets out of control so fast. Um, I, now that, now that, um... I'm tempted to use my hazmat guy to start rescuing people. I think that's going to be the way to go. We'll move there. Uh, I'll pick him up, but it takes two movement points to drag him. I could chop down this wall using action points that damages the house, but it allows me to get outside quickly rather than go through the rest of the house. So it's a risk-reward situation. But I have to end my turn here. I can't move uh, via... If I'm carrying this person, I need to spend two action points per, per tile. So, I have to just stay there. Okay. I need to get up there with someone. Alright, the driver operator. That's all four actions to move up there. And, again, this is awful because I really wanted to use him on the fire truck. Which doesn't seem to be a thing in, the, in this training mode. You'd think it would be. Okay, well, anyway. Let's move here. And we'll carry an action point over. We do not want to end our turn next to fire. We couldn't do anything with it anyway because we don't have enough action points. Oh boy. Okay, well. Um, I kind of want to contain this, to be honest with you. Um, let's do one this way. We'll spend two free to knock that out. And I'll move up here and spend two to knock that out. All right, so this side of the house is looking pretty good. Unfortunately, <laughs> we, we, we have a problem here big time. We're not rescuing anyone. Well, the bathroom is starting to smoke. Uh, we need to clear this 
Otherwise, moving through that is going to be nasty. And let's pick up this person and move them, I guess, this way. All right, so we're slowly getting these points of interest out of the house. No, no! Ugh, someone's dead. So, yeah, that was a point of interest over there, and they happen to be in that spot. Nasty. Okay. Well, let's... Um, I think we need to contain fire. Let's just move up. Extinguish that. Again, the driver operator is best at manning the deck gun of the fire truck. Not what he's doing right now, so he's not exactly uh, in his element. I I kind of wanna let's let's go up this way, and we'll see about controlling this side of the board. Oh, not good. Okay, uh, let's move up. I want to see what that is, but I'm more interested with this guy in containing fires. We'll extinguish that. We'll spend an action point to open that door. Now I can move through this door and turn one of these into smoke. But again, if fire spreads here and it hits this guy, he's going to be down. So I'm going to leave him where he is and not move him forward anymore. Oh, bad. Hot spot, that means it bounces. Oh, a hot spot was created there too. Oh, this is, this is going so badly right now. All right, so we're going to move this guy out of the house. We need to bring the stretcher over here, however, and that's going to cost action points to do. Uh, the action, uh, the uh, the gurney is over here, so I guess we have to end our turn. Oh, this is so bad. More fire. All right, driver operator. Uh, let's put that out. We have one left. We'll go ahead and put that out. No. Okay. All right, let's get this guy in here. And extinguish. Extinguish. I can move here and turn this into smoke. But again, if this turns into fire, it could easily just, yeah, turn right back into... F yeah, that's not going to work. So I think I'll stay here and on my next, next, next turn, do the same thing. Clear these out. Alright. Um, okay, so we're going to call... We're going to bring this guy here and call the gurney. Two action points. Here it comes. Yay, we've rescued one person so far. <laughs> okay. Uh, and turn. That's all we can do. Well, I know what the driver is going to do. New point of interest just spawned. Let's get rid of this smoke. Um, if I move here, it turns into sm it's just not worth it. There's not much I can do with this. I might just stay put and, well, I do need to see what this is. But I kind of want to control this side of the board too. All right, fine. We'll just end our turn here and see what happens. More smoke. All right, again, I think we need to contain this, although I'm concerned about this point of interest. This fire isn't actually hurting anything right now. There is a hot spot here, which concerns me. Um, you know what? Let's... We're going to do the most work. Extinguish. Extinguish. And now we've got some more action points. I could move up again and extinguish this. That completely clears this side of the board, which is kind of nice. That wasn't too bad. Alright, end turn. But now we've got this smoke to worry about. Alright, Hazmat. Uh, he needs to get in there. Again, I could turn that to smoke. Uh, what I may do, actually, is let's move here. And just put this smoke out. And try and get to this one. Although I'm kind of concerned if... If the die lands here, uh, an explosion occurs. If this is a person... They could be dead. We'll find out. There's dice rolls. Okay, driver, operator. Let's... We've got a lot of action points. I kind of want to clear this out, too. So, let's contain this. 
We'll move up. We'll contain that. That's a hot spot as well, so that's actually quite good. Okay. Um, not too bad. We're starting to get a handle on the fire, but with a bad dice roll, anything's possible. All right. Again, the, his weakness is his lack of movement. Um, let's just move there. Free actions. And that, that'll be that. We'll control this now. No, not there. Not there. Oh, <laughs> that was close. All right, hazmat technician. Um, I'm concerned for this point of interest here. Let's just put this out. Prevent an explosion if one should occur. All right. Driver operator. Um, there's nothing going on over here, which is actually quite nice. Um, I will move here and queue up, just save an action point for the next round. Ooh, that's bad. Um, okay, let's free extinguish. Let's reveal what this is. It's just an alarm clock, no one to rescue, so to speak. We'll move him here, put out this one, that's free as well. We're out of movement points. We have a free extinguish, but there's nothing to extinguish right now. End turn. New point of interest. What an awful place for it. We'll move there, put this out, and we'll see what this is. Lilith Stevens. We found Lilith. Okay, well, we're going to pick that person up and get them out through the same door here. The gurney is already here, so that's good for us. I'm concerned about that bathroom over there. <laughs> but let's get this guy safely out of the smoke. We'll extinguish that. Um, let's just move down here and clean this hot spot. And I kind of want to jump around here and see what this point of interest is on the following turn. No! Okay, so we've got a fire. We can't let that happen again. I, I, I feel like I need to get this guy over here to start working on this bathroom. So let's just spend all of our action points doing that. It's kind of a waste. I get it. Um, yeah, end turn. His strength is not movement. Oh, come on with the hot spot. Very unlucky. Ooh. All right. Let's try and get out of here. I'm going to drag Lilith out of that room. End turn. See how quickly this just... Oh, come on. The dice rolls. Ugh, all right, driver. Gotta extinguish you. I would love to see what this is, but I can't get there. I can move here and reduce this to smoke. At least that'll prevent an explosion. Daunt the bathroom. Okay, all right. All right, so my, my firefighter here will just free extinguish. Let's take care of... I, I, I want to get rid of this stuff in the bathroom, but at least there are walls there that will contain an explosion. Let's get rid of that. It's kind of a waste to get rid of this smoke. Um, you know what? I'm happy to move him back here. Okay. And that'll be that. No more action points. All right, we've got some f smoke brewing up there. Our hazmat technician, uh, we have enough to get them out the door, but not to the gurney spot. Fire advancing. All right, um, let's extinguish that, and let's run to the hot spot. Just an alarm, nothing to really worry about. Let's get them out of the hot spot, and that'll be that. All right, we need to get someone back up there to control this. New point of interest. Um, again, I'm not too worried about the bathroom, to be honest. I, I do want to open this door, however, and take out some of this smoke. We found Brady Archer. Well, let's use some of our free extinguish actions. 
This guy is not the guy to carry people. I mean, he's too valuable to move around and take out stuff. So we'll just move him back down here for the moment. He's safe for the moment. There's no smoke in here. We should be okay. Well, not. <laughs> I guess he didn't do a good enough job. All right, so we're going to move this guy here onto the gurney. Another person rescued. And let's get back in the house. The hazmat technician's kind of useless once you get rid of all the hazmats. Oh, that's bad. We need to get someone over there. All right, driver. Um, let's see what this is. Another uh, alarm clock. Nothing to worry about. Guess we'll end our turn there. Oof. Okay. Uh, let's... Do I rush over here or do I try and take care of him? I think I need to rush over here and take care of these, but I can't move anymore. That's awful. This guy can't has no movement whatsoever. All right, Hazmat. Um, let's get in here and rescue this one. We'll go ahead and spend our last action point, and then we'll pick him up later and carry him out. Ugh. Okay. Driver, operator, let's get, clear that smoke. Move up. Clear that smoke. Uh, another action point. We'll move there, and then maybe we'll work our way up here on a future turn and start clearing out this smoke. No! Oh, fire. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Alright, so let's get him up here. And we'll put that out. We have two, two of our three extinguish actions there. We'll move this one actually here to reveal... I don't want the hot spot, though. I don't want to be on a hot spot. So we'll move here, and we'll just put that out. Okay. We'll identify them on a future turn. Oh, there it goes. There goes that bathroom, finally. <sighs> okay. Um, well, let's get this... Let's pick them up. We're going to drag him here. Alright, driver. Let's clear out this smoke. Alright. Not too shabby. Just when you think you've cleared one side of the board, uh, you know, you end up getting something like this. Alright, uh, now this guy is awful at carrying, but we can move here, identify, take this out. Move here, identify, alright, and take this out. We'll have someone else carry this person out of the house. New point of interest, you say. All right, hazmat. Let's get him out of the house. All right, driver operator. I want someone to stay down here, but I kind of need to start carrying people out of the house. Let's get the driver operator here to pick him up and then drag him out later. All right, end turn. I wanted to leave someone over here to control this side of the board, but sometimes you have no choice in the matter. Free extinguish. I'll take it. Let's identify that. Matt Moss. Again, I have no interest in using him to carry anyone out of the house. He's just too valuable uh, to put fires out. So we'll just end our turn there. Hot spot, of course. We're going to bounce around. Oh, these hot spots suck. All right, well, here we go. Another person rescued. We've got three. Uh, let's get back in the house and end turn. Hot spot, of course! Another hot spot! Good job, dice! And it landed on the same spot? Holy cow. That was awful. Alright, I'm gonna have to extinguish this. Uh, and then we'll move I may just move here and call the gurney. I think that's going to be a better use of my action points, to be honest. Alright, end turn. 
Oh, come on with the dice rolls. All these hot spots. Okay, um... This is my firefighter. I'm gonna use him to just continue putting out smoke and fire. Uh, there's that. I could go down here and do that. Yeah, might as well. Good thing! <laughs> Good thing I did that! Okay, Hazmat, uh, let's get this person... Wait, he's not carrying anyone. Uh, let's get him here. And we'll pick this person up. And all we can do is move there, but... We'll have an extra action point to use for a following turn. The longer you... You wait in experienced mode, the more hotspots that get created via dice roll. It's awful. All right, so we're going to use action... Oh, we can't. We have no more action points. We'll just stay here and call it on the next turn. Well, we better check that out soon. Uh, well, let's extinguish. Free extinguish. Um, I think we need to start controlling this side of the board if we can. We'll bring him there. and turn. Oh, bad. Okay. All right, Hazmat. Let's drag them out of the house. Beautiful. Another person rescued. Nope. Oh, <laughs> close. We need, we need to take care of that. I'm going to spend two action points to call the gurney and rescue this person. And let's get back into the fight. Okay. Um. Part of me wants to work on this fire here. I don't like this at all. Alright, let's move up. Extinguish. Clumps of smoke are just as dangerous, though. That's the thing. Alright. Because, again, smoke next to fire turns into fire. So, <laughs> that's bad. Um, we've got some action points. Um, let's see who this is. Nope. No one. Kind of a waste. Alright, uh, driver operator. We've got Annabelle Scott, and look, the gurney happens to be right there. Let's go ahead and drag. Did I not? Oh, I got him. Okay. And turn. Whew, good thing I put that out. Let's go ahead and uh, free extinguish. And let's go there. Extinguish. I've got a movement point left. Extinguish. Done. If you leave this guy centralized, he's great. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. All right, hazmat. Um, well, let's put that out. I've got three left. I'm st I, I think I want to start containing smoke. I've got one action point. I'll just hold on to it for next turn. Not there, not there, not there. Oh no, hot spot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, well, let's drag this person right to the gurney. Another person saved. We've got six of them. Uh, and turn. We lost one and saved six. Oh, man. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, oh I, it was going to happen sooner or later. That's a lot of fire. Um, You know what? Ben Jefferson is... Uh, he needs some saving here. One. I love this guy. All right. End turn. 
He's near a lot of hot spots. That's what concerns me. Hazmat tech. Um, I think we need to get over to these points of interests and start doing some doing some things. Uh, we'll move here. We'll take this out, and then we'll move. No, I'm gonna wait. If this turns into something worse, I want to put it out, and I'll, I'll just bank this action point. No, 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 no. Oh, fire! Yeah. Again, smoke. On an, uh, when you when it lands on an empty tile and there's fire nearby, smoke immediately turns into fire. <sighs> we need to start putting this stuff out, but I think we just need to keep saving people. There's Matt Thompson. Yes, let's just focus on. Accept the fact that the house is going down and <laughs> just get as many people out now as we can. All right. Um, again, I, I, I don't want to pick this guy up and move with him, but uh, it's right here. I can bring the gurney over on a future turn. Let's, um, I'll pick him up. I, I'm breaking my rule with him because he's right there. And then I have two free extinguish, or three actually. Can't do anything else. But there's no danger around me, so I think I'm okay there. Bad. Eh, hot spot. Ooh, bad. Okay. Hazmat. Um, let's see what this is. Another person. Okay. Um, do I put this out, or I think I'm going to pick this person up and just move. I'm just going to leave the smoke there. And... If I go this way, I'm gonna. I have to put out the the smoke next turn. All right, so we'll make a mad dash. We've got we've got a survivor each. Can we make it out? Well, oh, that's bad. Okay, let's just clear the way. And there's the gurney. Beautiful. We've saved seven, and we can end. But let's rescue more because we're not done yet. End turn. I want to see how far this goes. As you can see, the house is sort of just going down. Um, we're going to move him out of the house there. And I'll just call the... Oh, I can't move the gurney. Um, do I not have enough... How much is it going to cost? Um, I don't know why I can't... Oh, maybe I don't have enough... Oh, I think it's extra for him to call the gurney. Because of his firefighter thing. I'll just, I'll just sort of leave him here then. Uh, so I will just... Can I just put him down? Yeah, I'll just drop him. So he's outside of the house right now. And... I, I think I'll just leave my firefighter there. <laughs> outside of the house at this point. Because the crap is about to hit the fan. Oh, man. Walls. Can we get out? Okay, hazmat tech. Oh, we can't get there because of this stupid thing. Uh, we could go there with it, then up. You know what? Let's just extinguish this. And we'll just move up as far as we can. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of tiles near us, but that could... Yeah, that could change very quickly. Fire advancing. Oh, boy. All right, driver, operator. Um, what if I... Yeah, I'll use his action points to move the gurney. I can ride along or stay. I'm going to stay, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, stay. Uh, move gurney. How do I... There we go. There we go. Done and done. And that's all we can do, end turn. Ooh, boy. Woo! Alright, firefighter. I'm going to use his action points to move the gurney back over here. And I guess he'll ride along, because why not? And that's... I mean, here, I'll do this. I have some free extinguish actions. Provide some cover, I guess. The house needs to stay standing while we get this last guy out. Oh boy. Hazmat tech, get him out of there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we lost one person. 
one person. We got some commendations. Win a game without chopping walls. Uh, win a game without issuing fire chief commands. Uh, win a game without firing the deck gun. Again, I didn't see it. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, and then the long haul. Win a game without uh, treating a survivor. All right. Is there stats? Oh, look at that. I love stats. So the operator went the least movement. Uh, this this guy, this Caps firefighter, 20 fires extinguished. He is the MVP. Totally. And the hazmat guy ended up saving five people. Like I said, if I had access to the, the deck gun, I'm not going to play another one, but I do want to see if it's uh, an issue with the training yard or because I know it works in the normal game but I'm just very curious oh there it is there you know what I'm just gonna do the uh, I'm just again this is not an actual game I, I just want to see if I can get it to work I'll just place them there and I'll start the game with just this guy it's not at all a hit start game oh see yeah now there's a little red thing here it, which wasn't available before. See, now I'm on the deck gun, and I can... It's random. So, fire deck gun. Now, what I can do is I can re-roll once vertical, and re-roll once horizontal. And you can actually see the effect it has. And the water does splash damage. So, I may want to re-roll this and hope that I can get to this spot here, or here, and that could take out two fires instead of just one. Or... Uh, if I re-roll horizontal and land on this spot, then I can take out every fire up here, which is really good. Uh, let's try horizontal and see what happens. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, so if I fire my deck gun, that is the power of the deck gun. It's, again, two action points, but it's amazing. Now, this deck gun only reaches a certain part of the house. You actually have to travel... Uh, around the outside of the board uh, by by moving to it. Like, there's a different area here. Yeah, this one, for example. It, it would cost me two movement to move the truck. There I am. So now I'm over here. And on a future turn, I can get on here and shoot in this quadrant of the house. So that's what the deck gun should have looked like. I don't know why it didn't work for me in the training game, but so it is. So there you go. Flashpoint Fire Rescue. A fun little game. Again, if you like cooperative games or even solo games, but you like the randomness of a die roll rather than trying to strategize what's coming up in the deck of cards like in Pandemic, then check this one out. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.